Waste in Washington. <laughs> yeah, they're finding out that they're, they're surprised at the fact that uh, there are 56 financial institutions working on the same problem, all getting money when they only don't need 56. Right. They only need and, one. And what about this $200 billion that they double spend every year or something? That's what, what was that, that all that, that's, that's, that's that's what that was all is, about? Yeah. Right. Well, hey. Because it's a redundant system. Right. Once again, it's a terrible, terrible system because it's not based on the system that our forefathers based it on. Welcome to a Better Way show. <laughs> yes. yes. Goodness, we're just uh, watching Fox News here and just uh, staying abrupt on what's going on in the world today and applying it to what uh, we think uh, is going on with the the Bible and what it says, uh, the, what will happen is happening. Well, you, you know, I was lucky. I uh, had a mom that used real life situations to teach us about life because the school doesn't teach children what they really need to know right they just teach them how to you know reading writing and arithmetic not keep your finger out of the mouse trap kind of thinking right, right and she made thanksgiving dinner and said now i'm going to give you a a uh, lesson in government economics now this is when i was 15 and that's back in the, <laughs> back in the 70s you know and before all this hullabaloo and she made this fabulous Thanksgiving dinner, and she said, Does it, doesn't that look wonderful? Yes, ma'am. Doesn't that smell wonderful? Yes, ma'am. We're all agreeing with her. She goes, now, if I was Uncle Sam, I would have prepared this, but I'm going to give it to the neighbors. You don't get any. And, you know, I thought, what's that all about? I'm just a kid. Well, now that I'm older, I understand exactly what she meant, but it helped me through life to realize that right. the, the government is here not to help us at one point or not so, somewhere along the line they separate themselves from the people and yeah. it's, it's not we started that, with calvin coolidge yeah it's it's not of the people the first for the people president. by the people well he was the first progressive president in in uh, <clears throat> modern history and he's the one that basically started the progressive movement and hated and, capitalism and hated capitalism and roosevelt was kind of a down the middle guy but with a little little bit leaning towards the uh, progressive way. He's the one that created welfare. He's the one that created uh, Social Security. And uh, um, for people that hate the system right. for whatever reason, and even though well, they for hate the, the system, they want to they want to live off the system they right. hate. Well, he came up with some of the first social programs that the United States went through. You know, like Social Security and taking it out of your paycheck and putting it into an account and, and, and you then know, the government spent that money. All this stuff <laughs> is necessary but it, it gets it gets blown out of proportion it, it, the the power hungry people manipulate it and it becomes evil. Right. You know, it's I mean every all these programs have a place. Right. But whenever it's just handed out because right. you know of this status or that status whatever it's that's not right and then it becomes perverted right just like social security people don't realize that immigrants can come over to this country which i think that issue has been blown out of proportion it's like they're using our our constitution against us they figured out how to use it against us right our well, freedoms. Last, last i remember in my history books when i was in history class we were we were a nation that was founded for democracy by by christian beliefs Right, but that what, what what they were saying, in my opinion, because it's all about. Uh, yeah, I, I understand the freedom of religion. Well, we were saying you, you go right ahead, but you don't see Christians going trying to bomb the Islam. Oh, right, you, you don't know, see but, radical but, Christians you, that they're you know, speaking. We don't. You don't see an eye for an eye in the Christian world. No, no. The, the, you see for you see justice. You see forgiveness. Pope was shot. You know, uh, back in the eighties. And he eventually forgave the man that shot him. But um, America is is you know. But that's the you're, you're, you're leaving way. you're leaving the the oppression of the rest of the world and right. coming to America, and you are accepting the American way, keeping your your beliefs and your culture in your house. Right. You're not coming here to change America. You're coming here to change your life from the oppression Christian that you now, came from. Now, the the enemy, the, the Islamic enemy, comes here and they want to use our constitution against us right. and try to change 
the way America is. Exactly. They don't like it, so they're going to change it. Well, you know what? If you don't like it, leave it. Leave it. Go back. You know to what? Your I'll press. open the door for you. I'll give you the plane ticket. I'll carry your luggage. <laughs> so that, uh, yeah, 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 that pretty much covers the mess at home. You know, everybody knows what's going on with that. And uh, you know, what about uh, what's you know? Once again, the Middle East. Here we go again in the Middle East. Now we're positioning our fleet off their coast, which uh, as ex-Navy kind of puts up a red flag for me. That <laughs> means we're going to do something. Well, it's we like don't a, send well, things. Well, just, you know, what we're hearing right now that it's all for humanitarian re- relief in case there's a mass exodus and and they have to uh, pick up refugees and pick them up and move them somewhere. That At least that's what the government's telling us. But, you know, what's really happening... We'll see when the day comes. Well, you know, know. all the governments, they'll tell you one of their agendas and have five hidden agendas that they don't tell you about. So you're you're never getting the full story. You always have to fill in the blanks. But it looks like a chessboard over there right now. Well, it's like, uh, okay, so Gaddafi falls, you know, eventually gets run out of town, whatever, you know, killed or murdered i'm not then sure what's that gonna guy's happen? gonna live well what's gonna you know what'll happen next you know the warlords will start taking over any uh relief that's sent over there the, Black the, the market, people that need it, it the most won't get it it'll be hoarded up by these warlords and given to their lieutenants and and the people will still be oppressed over there right and meanwhile the chaos that but they then want. you but Me- then you'll have the al-qaeda people coming in there and taking the oppressed people and the brainwashing them in into their brotherhood of things and then the next thing you know the the everybody's going to be outnumbered because uh you know and they'll have control over the weapons that <clears throat> uncle sam bought for them yeah, <laughs> Uncle right. Sam. Yeah, you know, well. I mean, uh, you know, they're talking about the spending and the waste. You know, it, it, it's a shame that our country has tricked the American people into being addicted to free money. Right. And you know, we've done it to the rest of the world. Uh, the, done it to ourselves. The, the, the statistics say, if America quit es- exporting food. 100 countries would go into famine and starvation. Right. Now, that country and us should be ashamed of ourselves for letting that happen. You ever hear fish for a man, you can feed him once, teach him to fish, you feed him for life. life. Right. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Wh- what's going on here? You, 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 you're, they're, they're, they're making babies like there's no tomorrow. Right. For whatever reason, I can't understand. But... They, they they can't they can't grow a, a garden, but they can make a family. Right. Come on, what kind of responsibility is that? I'm gonna I'm gonna have yeah. kids that I can't support. Look at me. Right. You know, and 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 so our country comes in there, and now we give them free food, and now they have less initiative. And so, a lot of this is because of ignorance, because these people aren't educated. People they're they're misinformed, and they think that. Uh, you know, the government just, or oh. cash just grows on trees and the government just has an unlimited amount. I, well, I to, think the government and the press is, is, is somewhat responsible I think for not letting mainly, everybody know the truth. It'd mainly be a lot better if everybody just knew the truth all the time. Well, right. I've always said that only parents and the truth politicians... truth will set you free. Only parents and politicians can change the world. Right. And they're both too busy making money and the number of bad outnumber the number of good and the proof is in the pudding because the evil has the power i don't know that it's gone that far yet but i think the tide is turning i mean every day the evil evil well is you just see that growing every that day. policeman on tv go after that kid calling him dude yeah now that that and he got fired for that yeah and, and he that did kid, the right thing that kid was a punk he was and, and his parents should be put in jail for child abuse and neglect because they didn't teach him any better yeah he goes uh, he, he made it sound like he only had his one parent and and that is the that is the beginning of the ruining of the fabric of the society of America oh, yeah, as a single a, parent thing. the the lack well, of full family I guess Christianity is based on family exactly the, there's a there's a trial I was just explaining that to my wife Nikki that there is a triangle between us. There's, you know, it's me, her, and Jesus Christ. 
Exactly. And that's, and my, and that's how it all happens. And just, uh, you know, like that, it's, the foundation is the same. It's family, church, God. There's it's always the three things. Once again, there's always the three things, the Trinity. Just like in, in the human there's body, the it's, it's physical, mental, spiritual. spiritual. Right. There, there's God always three. Is perfect. You know? He's made us, he's a perfect individual that has made us think. Thank you, Lord. But you you understand what I'm saying. We're, it's, it's, our mind is infinitely inward. And that is a miracle right there that that could be created. Right. You know, I mean, the universe goes that way. The mind exactly. goes this right. way. Without that it, focus, it's amazing. Though, you know, you got to have that focus between those three things. Oh, exactly. I just wanted to iterate and put that in there just, just so people know that, you know, when you come out of this chaos or whatever you're into... And closer to God, things come into focus, and things all worked and put together. Everything He's built everything perfectly. Well, you know, speaking of the news, real quick here, we're talking about the Middle East and everything like that. Uh, if you flip to most of these uh, news channels, or what? What's the big thing in the news right now? It's not the well, Middle East. Well, it's yeah, not, you know, well, it's not what's going on here, in the Yeah, world. you stopped hearing about uh, Egypt. You stopped hearing a little bit about Libya and, and a whole lot about Charlie Sheen. Sheen. And Paris, or not Paris Hilton, excuse me. Well, she, I'm Aguilera. sure she'll be along shortly. But Christine Aguilera got busted today. Charlie Sheen, you know, Lindsay Lohan, uh, you know, and you were making and a point. And these people make the top news. I mean, they're, they're, Why? it's what people want to see. I well, want to see like, that. I want to see somebody doing some know, good for somebody. How about yeah, that? Yeah, who wants to see a, 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 a guy that should be grateful for having the talent that he has, but yet he's ruining his life with cocaine and prostitutes and, and hookers and, and just easy, the evil, porn stars. The and evil it's just, ways uh, of I mean, the enemy. Just, yeah, he's it, he's dealing it, if with. If you the, look at him on TV, folks, just look how his face is sunken in from from the drug use, from the uh, oh yeah, from the abuse it, it's to just his a, body. You can see a, the demon that you can actually see the demon that's oh, on his coming back out in his, his face. It's you coming can see out in it, his folks. face when he talks. It's it's not the Charlie Sheen that you know that we knew back and when he was a young kid only this is a charlie thing. sheen that's been overpowered by satan only one thing is going to get rid of that for him that's god that's yeah, jesus christ I pray for him for that christ well you pray for him for that amen you're either in a room with light or dark and when one leaves the other takes its place and wow you know you know it's it, it's jesus or the devil i mean there's no if ands or buts, there's no in between. But people don't realize that. <laughs> Do you remember Pastor Tom's uh, sermon the other day? Remember he was talking about the light, the darkness, right. and all that. It's like and this, uh, it's look. It's because we have to all come back together. We have to do more, even as Christians, is what he was saying. Pastor Tom was saying at church Sunday that we, you know, as a Christian society, a community. Of, of believers, we have to. I mean, just look at the mouth. Really of, get out people. there and and do what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Just just take the human mouth, and 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 imagine all these people in a room, and you could keep the light levels the same for this experiment, right? And have everybody smile, and then have everybody frown. And I'll tell you, the light level will appear to go up, right? When the smiles happen, but it it doesn't. But that's the power of love and light. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And and I always try to give a smile away as often as I can. But you got to be selective and strategic nowadays because everybody's. I mean, I got long hair and a beard, and when I open a door for a lady, they I, they're, they're you know they're in shock. Yeah, Am I going to steal their purse? As soon as you smile though. But I smile. Right. You know. <laughs> and they think one of two things. Oh, he's very kind, or. Or, what, what a nice or, thing. Or yet here, <laughs> here's another hobo off the street, but yeah. you don't know who that may be. Angels are out everywhere. People, people, you know. You know, I, I got a story on. I got to tell you about my grandma <laughs> during the Depression. She told me uh, that um, they were on a trip and they picked a the guy up. And on, right after they picked him up, they stopped to eat because they had discussed it earlier and then came upon this, this stranger. And they fed him and give him five dollars and wanted to know where he wanted to go 
and he told them and they changed they exchanged addresses and they got a letter in the mail a month later and it said that he had plan he was so desperate he planned on killing them wow. but they were so kind to him that he couldn't bring himself to do it and five dollars during the depression was a lot of money right right but they oh, knew yeah. he was done on his luck and that's just the way my family is you know it's like we don't have a lot but we'll give you some right you know it's it's like uh, uh, thievery wouldn't be so bad if they had a little compassion and only stole half of it right yeah. you know but it, it, th- that's not the way the mind works you right. know it's it's amazing but getting back to why Bill brought that up though is that, uh, angels I, are everywhere the, you were also wanting to make a point of of, of role models yeah um, so many of our kids today are... are just, I mean to sidetrack you, Bill. <laughs> no, no, no. So many of our kids today are just... Unfortunately, you know, when we were growing up, you know, my, my parents called it the idiot box. And it really is the idiot box because people are watching TV and they're not watching, you know, they're, they're more watching concerned right about... Now. What's going on to The Bachelor? What's going on with Charlie Sheen? There's too, there's too many know, reality shows. Yeah, the reality shows. But uh, anyway, TV, TV should today, be for good, wholesome entertainment and maybe some education. Right, How about but, that? But most of TV today is derogatory towards, not derogatory, well, yeah, derogatory in my view. It's, but, you know, they're, they're, they're it's making hard sexual. It's clean, good, well, they're making, shows. they're making teenagers into sexual icons um, the the material of storylines and stuff they're bringing the um, you know they're creating a different reality exactly. and the kids are falling they're, into they're it they're making they're, they're bringing stuff up that's against the bible well, you were, that's unacceptable did you with see the, the new bible. Wii game the what the Wii yeah the Wii the Wii, Wii. They, they got the a new game, game out yeah. right. that you can buy if you're 12 years or older that's got extreme sexual content in it that you can buy no and it's like what what's going on here why are you perverting our children right and and that's what this TV is doing because that's what the enemy does that's because his job that's, that's just that's part of and the that's, and, and, and that's because it's working because parents are not policing right. my, I'll tell you what my mom there's a war out there people you know I didn't lie to her because right. they would sneak up and watch what we were doing right. and then go back and ask us later, and we would get more trouble for lying than what we were doing. Right, right. You know, you have to instill morals. So Growing like up, God, we had oh, yeah. TV, and you watched what Dad watched. And if you, know you didn't what? like what Dad watched, you tough. But Go see, to your you room. knew TV Listen was radio. TV was different back then, and you right. knew that it was bad acting. It was, and that's what it was. Well, no, no, it's but, so but com- back then there was good shows like, <laughs> but but you know, still it was Gunsmoke. It wasn't reality to you. <laughs> was it reality? Nobody to Nobody ever no, really. No, they were stories. People got shot, right, but, but you now, never saw blood. It's, it's so realistic. <laughs> we died. It's so realistic, <laughs> and they're calling it reality TV. Right, right. So right. now kids are thinking, but oh, this is real. Right. People really live like this. Well, like that show on TV, Skins. You know, you know, there it's. Sad. Next thing to child pornography. I, I well, uh, from what I've heard, I'm I can't watch it. stuff I, like that. I, I but, think but they, too they much talk about on it on TV the TV. That should not be there, right? But hey, you, you know, know who are we? We're not the censors, you know, right? We're you know, just... I have uh, 300 channels. I have satellite TV, and I tell you, I watch History Channel. I watch Fox News. I watch uh, s- some crime drama shows, and, and and I'm a and I'm a science fiction buff because. I just like the whole. Well, I like the ABC Family you Channel know, too, yeah. and TBN. Yeah, I yeah, TBN yeah. And, but I mean, but there's so many know, channels on there, Joel, that Steve I know, Rocks. that I could, if I want to, I could go through <laughs> and just delete the ones that I don't. It won't show up on my menu, you know. But uh, but there's only a select few channels I can even stand to watch anymore. I, yeah, I watch channels well, where I can learn something. That's what yeah, I was just trying exactly. to say. Is it's so get away hard. from it all. But you know, with a with a, like a it's a waste of time movie, but if you can't learn anything, right? And, and that's what it's all about, gentlemen, is wasting time, right? You're you're not reading a book and educating yourself. You're glued to the boob tube, or playing being, a video game, being filled. Your eyes and your mind are being filled with something that somebody else wants you to to, to want, right. you know. And, and you really and, have to concentrate. And you're on not what going you really up. Should focus on which yeah. is the Bible and God. Exactly the Bible. 
family. Well, here's a video game that kids should go out and, and your buy. family, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. that all vi- falls into place. There, there the is Bible. a new video game out that I, that I approve that kids could, could, should go out and buy. It's called Left Behind the Game. Oh, there you go. There's there's a video game of Left Behind, and you're you're the one left behind, and you have to make it through. Are you going to take the mark? You know, uh, I'd be excited to see somebody uh, playing that game. Hey, hey, it hey, is out not? there. It, it, it's maybe you have to the, learn scripture or something all the way through. That's see that that's going to be tool. that's going to be real reality, right? I, real soon, I think. Okay. I, I really. But you don't think, see commercials so. for it. That's the funny thing. You right. don't see commercials. All you see are the commercials for the violent ones and Grand Theft Auto and. Because that's what kids think are cool. Yeah. And, and cool. even in the in but, the violent ones, they try to take you and make it put it in a science fiction where world. We were taught still. as children. Well, I I was taught as a child that you know Jesus was cool, and I always thought that, and I never thought anything different. Oh yeah, the you most know, cool, that, the superhuman it, it, cool. It's you know? you know what I'm saying. That's it. That's the way. He's the way. The light. He's the life. But, He's you your know, life. It's people. the uh, evils of the world though that are controlling. Just think how hard it is for him to stand up there and look down and watch all the suffering that has to happen and not in in order for and not say anything or intervene, you know, because he's trying to teach us a lesson. And and that's where where his children where he's you know, hey, you got to let us get our own skin knee. It's that's the mentality of it all. But it's uh, it's just got to play out, and and he's got to watch all that war and domestic violence and it's just unbelievable how strong he really is oh yeah to be able to do that and not interfere amen you know his he's I mean, got it's just that, that that strength is uh just you can't you can't imagine it praise jesus people it's bazooka proof <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's you know, but uh, you know, don't, tall don't, don't, don't idolize these people you see on TV. But pray for them. But pray for them. Yeah. I mean, see, when you, you see know, stories like Charlie, don't Shane idolize anybody. But and Jesus. Lin- Lindsay Lohan, at least That's pray that they you. find new direction and 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 get out of their get their problems out of the way. We've seen a lot of people over the years, you know, that have uh, you know been that self destructive path, and you know cut short their lives due to it and we've seen a lot of people that have turned it around and i'll give you one example they flipped it is is robert robert downey jr yeah yeah you know here's a guy that was doing heroin went to prison you know kept getting busted and everybody said his career is over this that and the other and i've seen quite a few things lately and now he's like back he's being a hollywood draw again you know, but you know, you, we're not hearing anything about his private life, which is a good thing, right? You know, everybody should have their own private life, exactly. And uh, we don't need to hear that. The, you know, these actors, they make movies. Whether you like the movie or not, that's up to your own discretion. Some movies are just made for pure entertainment. Some are made for political values. Some are just some are just some made are just pure trash. Trash, right? Right. So, pure you know, trash. And, uh, you know, everybody's got their own taste, unfortunately. You know, people, you know, that make movies are in it for making money. And uh, not so much a good, a good message goes But it's them. also a, a good propaganda tool, and they know that. And that's oh, yeah, they've been doing it for years. They did it during World War II, Vietnam. Yeah, this, yeah, sending out propaganda messages like, hey, check out my new album by... Me. <laughs> it's called plug. The Balance. Yeah, cheap plug. It's cheap on Amazon.com. <laughs> iTunes. Uh, Bill's done downlights. wonderful work for me at NDG Productions. They're putting videos together. They're all over YouTube. Uh, you know, we got websites all over the place. Just do a search for Dave Hershey or uh, anything from The Balance, TMG. You'll find us. You'll find a lot of us. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. <laughs> Shameless plugs I have. Uh, Write us at a better way show. Gmail dot com. Hey. <laughs> Do we have a phone number yet? Yeah, we'll find uh, out. We're working on that. We, yeah, we'll yeah, do we that. For, yeah, we just we'll, got we'll to do it that on our lucky thirteenth show. Right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> actually, thirteen has always been pretty lucky yeah. for me. It's not a superstition <laughs> thing. We'll do it on our like lucky thirteenth. It's all luck. Yeah, well, luck. just yeah, there's no just luck. remember, you know, pray for those people that are. 
Amen. That you think are they got the world by the short hairs, and it's like you know, hey, just because they make all that money and they're a, a, a an athlete or a movie star or whatever, addiction can hit anybody, anybody, exactly. you know. And we have to help. Just because they're making more money, don't mean they don't need help. Well, look, they need more help if you think if you think right. about it, because they have unlimited access to the problem. Right. And let Jesus get that demon off your back. So, you know, let's pray that these. Uh, bad situations are educating our young people on what not to do because apparently our parents aren't doing that enough. Right. And and we need that. We really need Jesus to intervene and open the eyes of these young people so that they can see the truth. Yep. Yeah, Dave is working on some new material. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing some of that here in the future. This is true. And uh, we're going to get to writing here real soon. You know what I like about Dave's writing is that it doesn't have a consistent style. He's trying new stuff, and he's all over the place, so you never know what you're going to get. You never know. You know. Life's like a box of chocolates. I, I, I really <laughs> like it. You get them. a nice I melody. You can get a hard rocker. Uh, you know. Well, I was, I've been listening to some bizarre, like, AM uh, 70s stuff. Uh, like, <laughs> So who knows where what direction I'm going to go into. So. It used to be FM 70s uh, but, stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, I mean, it's a little anything from, like, Steely Dan and you name it. It's uh, I'm just uh, experimenting with uh, anything I can. I just love all types of music. And, and nowadays, as long as it's written about the Lord, I, I don't care what style it is. As long as it fits the words, it fits right. the mood, I, I think it works. Well, the, the so it does, thing nothing is, says you have to set in. If it's about Jesus Christ, you don't have to set yourself into a set of gender. Just as long as all the songs are about him, he's going to love it. Well, if, Amen. if you have one style, you only reach one kind of people. They, there you go. And if you have a multi-style... I'm trying to re reach, reach everybody. Exactly. I think that's the reason I, I did what I did. I just let, and I let God guide me. And, and he puts me in the directions that he wants me to go. And I'm okay with that because he's never wrong, and I'm I'm a real happy guy now. I'm so happy you cannot believe. I'm well, so full of joy. <laughs> well, that's, you know, probably because you just got married. So congratulations, there. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. You know, yes. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I grew up with stuff like that, man. Well, that's good. <laughs> I think uh, church camp. We used to sing that as kids. They'd have the girls on one side and boys on the other. I can't other. remember the name of the church camp that I used to go to with my Chaff. cousins. I went to Camp Chaff. Is right. that what is that yeah, what it was? Out there on Deerfield did Road. A, did it have a big lake? I the one we went to had a huge a lake. lake and it was really this set up, This man. place had a chapel. We, no, this had a swimming pool, but we had an uh, obstacle course. We had all kinds they of They never cleaned activities. the spiders out of those bunks, though. No, I did yeah. go Camp Buckeye down out that way. When I was in Boy Scouts. Yeah, I did a lot of camping when I was Boy yeah, Scouts no. church camp. And and you know that's the that's the type here's of organizations little, I think that the kids should be getting into from, is those types that teaches good values and, and here's things. A, here's a cute little story children. from when I went to church camp. I went to church camp. I was there one week and and I had a great time. I just met all these little young ladies from Columbus and. You know, every time we'd have free time, you know, I'd be sitting and talking to the girls and everything. So Which the is week, not the so idea the, of the church so the, week came, <laughs> so the week came to the end, and, and the counselor, you know, he'd come up to church, and he goes, well, Bill, he goes, I know you had a good time out there, but he goes, I'm making you go back to church camp for another week, but this time you're going to learn about Jesus and stay off, stay away from the young ladies. Amen. And so he paid my way and made me go back for Amen. another week. Amen. Well, I'll learned. be darned. Now, yeah. That's <laughs> guidance. Now that's yeah. guidance. Yeah. You know, that's somebody that cares about a child's future. Yep. If you think about it now. Yeah, but no. But then no. You, you were like, parents don't have to take the time to do that with their kids now. Like that no. cop said, your parents don't put their foot in your butt enough. Right. Yeah, well, you know. hopefully we can go over this in another show. Hopefully we, we, we're here next week. Right. <laughs> because we just killed yet another half hour like we always do, but that's so easy. I don't know. Maybe we ought to just send them an hour's worth and see if they notice. <laughs> Later, load this online. <laughs> Mess up their whole schedule on My Christian Radio. Well, thanks for listening to A Better Way Show. You have a great week. 
Folks. Amen. This is Steve the Woodsman signing off. Hey, this is Bill. And this is Dave saying, uh, keep looking up, people. Give your life to Jesus and you have a great week. And drop the bottle. Praise the Lord. Quit the drugs. Amen. Thank you.